The best part about being a flight attendant has to be when you walk the aisle saying trash to everyone's face. That's right, it was never about collecting rubbish. It was just about digging on you. My five-year-old son just asked, What if we put a slice of turkey in the DVD player and it played a movie about the turkey's whole life? And none of the parenting books I've read have prepared me for this question. Office jobs are so funny, because you'll be 24 and your greatest enemy in the world is a 55-year-old woman named Betty from Finance. It's like Game of Thrones, especially the part where, at the end of it all, you kind of feel like you wasted your time. Why is male country music like, Hot girls in teeny tiny shorts, I will make you my wife. Bear, my children, front porch, family values, casseroles. And female country music is like, Oops, I killed my husband. Well, I'm just saying, they're not singing about how useless those men are, are they? No, they're just singing about their own faults and failures as women. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. See, that's my argument as to why the men aren't bad, and the women only killed them because they are bad. Haha, <laughs> yes. Where's my Andrew Tate fans? Come on, follow me. Worship me! I said woman bad! You have to worship me now! Is this glass half empty or half full? It's completely full. You're hired! Place the oxygen company. That's all they sell. Nothing else? Oh yeah, and some, like, weird dehydrated starch? But that's just to flavor the oxygen. 13-year-old me on World of Warcraft, helping a 27 year old woman through a divorce. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Well, you know, um, a wise person once told me, run, fly, you fools. And that's what I think you should do. You should just run. Be free. While you're at it, can you tell me how to get girls to like me? Dog shelters. Don't buy puppies. Consider adoption instead. Also dog shelters. This is Piss Fingers. She's 19 years old and can't live in a home with children, books, or electricity. Piss Fingers is nervous around hair and needs 400 acres of land and an orchid of extinct fruits. You know what? This is a rare occurrence. For once, I am actually influenced by the political leanings of a meme. I don't really know if this is politics, but personally, I kind of understand now why some people don't prefer adopting. There's a fun topic to start a flame war in the comments. Also, just in case they eventually come back again, if you get a bot reply on your comment, you get a brownie. I'll get it to you somehow. Give me a... Give me a few years. <laughs> and I don't want to see anyone creating fake accounts or pretending they're bots, okay? We'll know, all right? We know what their farts and perfume smells like. That is all going to go completely over the heads of people who aren't regular MK viewers. Someday, everyone will be able to immediately pick out all the millennial gravestones because everyone else's will be like, Loving husband, wings of angels. And ours will be like, Thank Frick. A very good boy. 1995 to 2064. Nice. She died doing what she loved, being murdered. That last one, I, I'm saying it right now, online, for the record. If I die of some tragedy beyond something boring like old age, I want that on my gravestone. You become an adult twice, when you turn 18, and when you find out how much it costs to professionally frame something at Michael's. Yeah, real talk, why do frames cost so much? It's like three pieces of wood and glass. Wait, no way, <laughs> four pieces of wood. Oh God, I can math. I genuinely believe it's because demand is scarce. So the moment they get someone who's willing to pay for something, ah, just jump up the prices, please. You have to pay my rent for the building. It's the one reason I never bother getting posters or anything big to put up on a wall because the framing is just too expensive. Meanwhile, in the newspaper from Friday, August 9th, 1985, naked witches. Yep, strap in. Police say about 150 nude women fondled each other and joined in a ceremony involving the display of symbols associated with Satanism at a state park, but no laws were broken. This was in Salem. <laughs> 150 people? I, I can't even persuade, like, more than 10 people to come to a birthday party event. It, how do you succeed with this sort of event gathering? Especially to persuade them all to be naked. Forget pickup artists, gentlemen. You should find out whoever coordinated this event and like worship her. I leave this as a warning to the digital wizards of companies to come. So long as I live, I will gleefully slam the door on the shiny shoes of any entity that wants to resurrect dad to sell their wares. Pay the living, let the dead rest, and kindly pee off in a sinking canoe. 
and new. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about with suspiciously specific. I have no idea exactly what's going on here. Affluent kids trying to grab the rest of their parents' money that wasn't sold off to them in liquid cash? I don't know. You've just ordered Pizza Hut and a two-liter Mountain Dew. You've loaded up RuneScape on your PC. No school tomorrow. Your parents don't care if you stay up all night long. A perfect summer night. You are 39 years old. The year is 2022. Luca, you are living life right. Ellen DeGeneres' brother defends talk show host for supporting Kevin Hart. Wow, I have never seen a family with a stronger PE teacher gene. If I woke up in a K-pop artist's body, the first thing I would do is tweet a video of me taking the fattest long rip and caption it, I hate my white fans. Then turn off my phone. Go on, K-pop artists. Do it. I dare you. Learning about the fall of Rome, it sounds pretty terrible. A plague resulting in labor shortage, bad military leadership, Christianity mattered more than the government, multiple civil wars, infighting, decisions created to benefit the rich more than a poor- Hey, wait a minute. Don't worry, folks. This isn't going to actually happen. You gotta apply the, uh, the emu method with all this. Stick your head in the ground and just wait till it all blows over. The ideal life is being born in 1947. Being aged 20 in 1967 to frick in a field and take SD and then buy a house for $5,000 after a walk into a bank to get a job and impress them with your third grade reading level and then die before 2001 with your well-hedged investment portfolio. It's so easy. I don't know what these Gen Zs and millennials have to be complaining about. Uh, it's, it's clearly, it's clearly the smashed avocado. My right hand has been crafted into a dragon's fist. My left hand has perfected the tiger's claw. My heart remains pure. Do you understand? Oh, those are such powerful words. You, you're so deep. Deep? Oh, you are so deep, little Andy. Oh, he has such an amazingly vivid imagination, pretending his hands are creatures. Oh. My girlfriend hearing me work on my Borat impression in the shower before we meet up with her friends for dinner. Hello, my name is Borat. Hello, my name is Borat. High five. High five. High five. Hey, babe, does this sound right? High five. High five. Babe, high five. Warning, public safety notiki. If you discover a dead body, do not attempt to give medical assistance. Do not approach within five meters. Report incident immediately. So you find one dead body. That's obviously a bit of a surprise, a bit of a shock. How often does this occur in this area that they go out of their way, not to just to put up a plastic or a cardboard sign, a metal frame sign? You don't make these in like a, a day or a few hours. This would take like a week or so to order, deliver, and then set up. This, this required organization, a sense of bureaucracy. I am... <laughs> I feel like this used to be a graveyard and they just, they realized they screwed up doing it here because all the bodies are slowly rising up from the ground. Ah, uh, hey, what's up, bro? Do you think I have peed one million times in my life? Ah, uh, hell nah, son. Well, are you freaking dumb? Bye! You about to get roasted. The average human urinates six to eight times a day. If you have been doing that since you were born, that is 52,560 at the high side of that average. That number resembling nowhere near a million had to have been configured by a dim-witted moron. You would have to be at least 342 years old, peeing eight times a day to pee a million times, or pee 34 times a day and live to 80. So yeah, it best start drinking those water bottles, boy. And that's how you trick your friend into completing a math assignment for you. Yeah, I'll just make him think it's got to do with pee or something. My therapist is selling her house, so I'm gonna find the listing online and make her living room my Zoom background before our next session. You wanna get in my head? Okay, well I'm in your home, babe! I'm in charge now! How does it feel to see me here? Well, that's certainly surprising, John. Uh, how, how are you feeling? I'm still depressed! Sorry, bud, but I'm gonna have to temporarily ban you for a week and remove your post as it violates rule number uh, 1827. But I'm not including an uppercase letter at the start of the title. Uh, trying to use other accounts to avoid this ban will result in a permanent ban. Hell and Frick 
combining into the much less substantial heck is literally exactly the same energy as sodium and chloride combining to make table salt. You know, I never perceived that, and that has really explained a lot to the feeling I have towards heck. The feeling of forwarding an email you have been accused of not sending is probably the same as winning a duel. Seriously, reading some of the uh, professional responses my partner gives to a lot of her colleagues, hell hath no fury like the professional smack talk you can give people in the workplace. Oh, when you get an as per my last email, oh, you know you done fricked up. Meanwhile, a brand new sentence, skydiving with a Christian baby? Atheists, imagine you're going skydiving with a Christian baby. Suddenly, the baby tells you he won't open his parachute until you renounce atheism and accept Jesus as your lord and savior. What would you do? For one, I'd freak the hell out that I'm suddenly... St Why would I choose to skydive with a baby? And then the baby speaks? Nah, no, no, no. I am, I am de-harnessing that and throwing it. Wee, this is so fun. Right, baby? Uh, now, Jack, no, hypothetically... No, Bro, why is laundry the most exhausting chore? I do laundry for two hours and I feel like I fought 12 seagulls. The trick is to play an episode of something or a podcast so you feel too distracted to realize you've been doing a lot of labor. Unless, of course, you're someone with that ADHD that gets easily distracted by things because then that's it's not going to work. You just... <laughs> to distract yourself from the laundry, you're going to fully distract yourself and not do any of the laundry for two hours straight. How do I know this? <laughs> well, uh, people be like, I love winter, from their living room under a heated blanket with some cozy socks on and sipping hot tea. No, go outside and like it. Let's see. Now in their defense, African stallion, the winter enables one the ability to be absolutely wrapped up like a bug and snug in a rug. I butchered that Nigel Thornberry quote. Point is, they get to be more wrapped up than they would be allowed to in the summer without melting. I mean, at least in Australia, winter is like the only part of the year when men can actually cuddle people without, you know, it becoming a ball of sweat within 30 seconds. Driving through the Midwest is just absolute nothingness, and then every 70 miles you see God is real! Hell is real too! Followed by a sign for a store that sells extra, extra large dildos. In the 90s, computers would scream every time you went on Line. That was foreshadowing. Wow, yeah, I just realized that computers don't do that anymore. We do that. <laughs> Next time you're afraid to share ideas, remember someone once said in a meeting, let's make a film with our tornado full of sharks. Okay, see, but I don't think it's about being afraid to share ideas. I think it's about being surrounded by people who will endorse and empower your ideas. So don't worry about how dumb your ideas are. Just be worried about how people will treat you and respond to your ideas. <laughs> see? Isn't that a bit of feeling, isn't it? Why are you crying? Everyday faves. Yeah, I'll have the number two, please. The uh, we are short staffed. Please be patient with the staff that did show up. There is a demon in the fridge. No one wants to work anymore. Ah, the classic no one wants to work anymore. As if a fast food store would offer the best sort of employment opportunities. Guys, if an attractive woman came up to you in the street and asked to see your c would you show her? Well, I know what everyone's immediate response to this is. He's pulling his c out! It's crazy that some days I tweeze my eyebrows, shave, put in my contacts, blow dry my hair, pay my credit card bill before it's due, eat salad with dressing on the side and go to a workout class, and then some days it's like, what's the point of a shower? Who even cares? Give me potatoes. I can honestly relate to this sort of energy. There's some days where I'm like, let's go, baby. Oh, I'm a skincare. <laughs> More like hell yeah. And then other days, <laughs> showers. Yeah, I'll get onto that in a week. My son didn't ask for anything specific for his 13th birthday, so we had to guess. I picked the silliest, most useless thing I could find. A giant bread-shaped pillow, then argued with husband for two days before he finally agreed to buy it. He loved it! It's like a giant worm. <laughs> to all my future girlfriends, yes, I still would. Police. Why did you kill him? Me. He was making an... Ah, oh, sound after every sip of coffee and holding his cup close to his face with two hands. Okay, just try not to do any more murders. Oh no, this, <laughs> this is me, but with cups of noodles. Please tell me I'm not alone. You, you take a little sip of the, the, the hot noodle juice and you're just like... <laughs> I did. It's natural, okay? It's, it's a bodily response. You can't shame me for my body's autonomy. 
You ever sneeze so hard you can see the matrix code out of the corner of your eyes? No, Mike. Uh, you might want to stay away from any men in suits, especially if you see a Hugo weaving following you home. What if you put milk in a humidifier and trapped a lactose intolerant person with it in a chamber and watch as they sob and poop uncontrollably on the ground clawing at the door? Hello? Police, I've been calling every hour hoping you'll arrest this creep. When computers started saying, Oopsie, whoopsie, something went wrong. Instead of, Exception in block 000XXF95X. That's where we lost our way as society. I disagree. I enjoy computers dumbing down things to make me feel equally as intelligent as an actual IT expert. That said, when some programs never actually specify what's going on and like what you could at least Google to try and fix the situation, uh, those programmers deserve to be burnt at the stake. He looks like a mute village boy who is the sole witness to a violent crime. Did you see something, boy? Nod. Nod or shake your head. Oh boy, what's my future? Tomorrow morning, take a left turn as soon as you leave home. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna stay home. Legal Advice UK. Is it illegal to haunt the local forest in a creature costume? Hello, everyone. Do let me know if this question doesn't fit the sub. I have decided I would quite like to make a very realistic creature costume to begin to haunt the community woods. Uh, at night for fun. My job would not to be startling anyone, but to perhaps start a local rumour of a large animal around the place. I'm thinking maybe three nights a week of wood haunting and I'm wondering if this is legally sound or if I might be at risk of some mysterious public misdemeanor. Thank you all in advance. Try it in America. Go on. <laughs> Do it. I wonder what kind of creature they dress up as, though. By the gods, what is that hideous creature? Hi, mate, how you going? Oh no, they made their way back. Quick, call the police! Got all dressed up for a nice dinner and instead spent the eve in the ER in Spain with my kid, who is fine now. But the point is, they gave me a list of meds and told me it would be expensive. And I asked how much, and they said between two and ten euros each. And I, I laughed and laughed and cried and cried because I have to go back home and I don't get to stay here where everything's actually affordable. If I hire a legitimate maid service to clean my house for three hours, the lady cleans for 20 to 30 minutes, and then I just have consensual intimacy with her for the last two and a half hours, could this be considered prostitution from a legal standpoint? I can't tell if this is someone actually wanting to hire this service, or this is someone who wants to get into that service and find a little loophole. This woman I clean for is really hot and I just I want to find other ways I can make money from them. Never stop dating your wife. Pick her up in your 1997 Mercury Sable. Take her to TGI Fridays. Hold in a nervous fart during Wall-E. Never stop dating your wife. Retain that constant nervous energy that she might not be interested after this first date. Treat every kiss and romantic gesture with the possibility she may reject it and find you cringy for feeling embarrassed for trying. Constantly be afraid that they tell you you might be better off as friends. I have created a bathroom schedule for my wife to help her align her day in a more orderly way. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get that out. Husbands, lead your wife and manage her well so she can fulfill her God-given role and serve you. 1 Corinthians at 2.20 has such wisdom. Wow, okay, so eating 1 Corinthian at 2.20 every day makes you think like this. I can only imagine what happens if you eat two. Hey, it's-a me, a Bowser. Why is bro built like a YouTube reviewer who's about to tell me why my favorite piece of media actually sucks? Did you know Mario's actually a total a-hole? I, to Peach, wants to come to my house, okay? It's not my fault! She's interested in that big Bowser d Some Twitter advice from at Chadsu. Because one thing the news should do is to give people on Twitter a platform. A place where a scientist is given as much equal footing of an opinion and valid advice as someone sitting on the toilet and forgetting to wipe. Anyway, let's see what this holy goblet of valid opinion has to say. If you rarely drive on snow, just pretend you're taking your grandma to church. There is a platter of biscuits and two gallons of sweet tea in glass jars in the back seat. She's wearing a new dress and holding a crock pot full of gravy. Okay, well, uh, that's actually good advice. Office culture is someone bringing in donuts and everyone for some reason refusing to take a whole one and cutting off three eighths of the donut and then at the end of the day, there's like 17 20 fifths of nine different donuts left. Well, maybe if someone just pre-cut the donuts, we wouldn't have this issue. Life in a capitalist system is just one constant countdown. Countdown until you get off work and school. Countdown until the weekend. Countdown until the holidays. Countdown until vacation. 
it would be nice to live in a society where I don't have to live like an expendable machine. But, but, but then, then I have to consider you as a human. I don't want to. I just want to pay you minimum wage. I don't want to think of you as a human. Ugh, that's so exhausting. I just want you to work for my personal profit and gains. Ugh, it's like you guys don't want me to own a seventh home. How do I stop my husband from going goblin mode during sex? Oh God. My husband says, Goblin mode activated. When we start to get it on, he growls and acts like a caveman and then says, Goblin mode off when we stop and then pretends to not know what I'm talking about when I ask him about it. If I had to describe my life in a movie scene, then it'd be the part in Elf when he gets hit by a taxi and then thanks them. Insurance payout. Just kidding. You can't afford insurance. I don't know why this keeps happening, but I keep meeting toxic heterosmexual couples who experiment with polyamory and are heavily into Funko Pop board games, Disney princesses and burlesque stripping, and the man is always a withdrawn bearded dude, and the woman is always a passive aggressive control freak with an Etsy shop that sells lawn gnomes styled after Doctor Who characters and they don't really even seem to like each other, but they're always exactly the same. This has happened four times. As a burlesque performer, gay though, I can tell you that you're not the only one. It's wild. They're everywhere. What are y'all mad about today? Women are expected to look like tens all the time while the average man looks like a warm coleslaw. Okay, but <laughs> expected by who? Come on now. What, by men? The people we've all unanimously agreed you don't put on makeup for in the first place anyway? I thought it was just for yourselves. But also, lads, skincare and fashion and grooming tutorials are free on the internet nowadays. I mean, God forbid a woman wants a guy who takes care of himself. Ugh. Ugh, who would want a partner that actually tries to be healthy with their, you know, skin? Because, oh man, you know what? an attractive partner, someone who has a beer gut and can't walk upstairs when they're 45. And the best way I can describe it is, remember those Smex bracelets in high school? Those weird rubbery plastic wristbands that if someone broke yours, it means they wanted to sleep with you? Wait, it did? did wait, wait, is this a thing? Oh no. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just having a sudden realization to the amount of times me and my mates would happily rip and damage each other's rubber bands. Oh no. I mean, it's bad enough there was the time I wore a pride shirt thinking it was just a cool colored shirt and not realizing it was, you know, to symbolize when someone is proud to be gay. <laughs> there are so many moments of my childhood where I was so ignorant. Anyways, I used to chew on those religiously. Jellyfish has the exact same texture, but the outer layer is slightly softer and gooier. Uh, what? Okay, so jellyfish taste will have the texture of rubber wristbands that people would use to symbolize fornication. The more you know. I hope the guy who just caught me off in traffic has his favorite book made into a movie and the characters are nothing like he imagined them. So it was you. You were the one who triggered the effects of M. Night Shyamalan's adaptation of Avatar. Imagine a dude kills your entire family, and then you see him live on TikTok cooking a beef burrito from his jail cell with 6,000 viewers. Hey, what's up, everyone? Just here on social media to make you all realize that there are realistically very little consequences to your actions. Might not have the freedom, but hey, at this point, who really does anymore? Ugh, writing tip number one. Spell coconut with your waist. Look, let's be real. You could spell poopy butthole, and it would still be a good time for the guy. It would confuse him, but I think he'd be too busy in Valhalla to be able to respond. Becky Brown. 47. Alcoholic. Unemployed. Activist. Bi. Mom to three kids and five dogs. Vegan. Mentally unstable. Divorced. Widow. Dead inside. Chicken nuggets addict. Ah, so an older millennial. Taylor Swift makes music for people that pronounce the L's in tortilla. Ah, uh, remember age-long MK fans? Remember that time I said tortilla in a video? <laughs> wow, you all really hated me for that. But see, I've learned now. I don't pronounce words wrong anymore. D don't highlight that. Don't quote me on that point of view. The HR lady who majored in psychology at a no-name school in Florida is about to throw your resume in the trash. Ah, it seems you've made the classic mistake of graduating in a degree or a school that was better than hers, and now she feels resentful towards you. Especially if you did something psychology related. See, she works in HR. She needs to have something over you, otherwise she doesn't get that, you know, that, that little, little nice itch scratch of that, that power she likes to have in the workplace. See how the mouth is smiling, but the eyes aren't wincing in a way that shows genuine smiling. Yeah, yeah, that's a power move. 
me, watches a single YouTube tutorial so I can fix my door hinge. YouTube. What's up, Hinge Leather? Here are the top 1,000 videos from the Hinger community this week. Check out this trending Hinge content from an engaging influencer. God, this is an... Honestly, this is a plague online. People who try to guide you in things with a clear, overly enthusiastic energy. Like, I I'm, I'm proud of you, man. I'm glad you're trying to find a way to make things fun, but you don't need to scream in my face about it, you know? Like, just read the memes. I mean, sorry, what? No, but if you find a dad YouTube channel, ooh, you found the sweet spot. The dad how do I YouTube channel? Ooh, baby. Straight to it. Man's a legend.